Everybody loves Attack on Titan, and what's cooler than being transformed into a Titan? I don't know. Well, nothing. Today we will be creating our own Titan, animating it, placing it in a virtual world, and doing the transformation in After Effects and Unreal. So let's get started. Can I start now with my course? Seriously. <laughs> To be able to create our Titan we'll be using today, we're going to use Character Creation Tree. This is a software which lets you create realistic looking characters and you can compare it a bit to meta humans. The only difference is that Character Creation has way more options to modify your human. And just like meta humans, it's extremely easy to use. You can just drag around all your sliders and create your pure Titan. Of course, we are going to need an environment and we can create one like we always do, but this time we did a little bit different and we used a demo project of Quixels. They have these awesome demo projects which you can use freely and we just adjusted them to our likings. That's it. Yes, yeah, totally, I know, yeah. Oh, wait, I have to hang up for someone here. Yeah, bye. Hey guys, I was just working on my brand new course about Unreal Engine 5 for beginners. And just look at this, we have created this beautiful scenery, this outdoor landscape already in one of the first lessons. I'm actually always teaming my courses. I'm actually the supervisor of the Unreal Engine and the engine is behind me. Now all of these elements here that you can see behind me, well, they were created using Storyblocks, today's sponsor. I'm saving a lot of time without sacrificing quality, but not only building sets like these, to have some visuals in the background, but also on my daily basis when I'm working on video projects. Because I can find over a million high quality stock assets in their ever growing community driven library. If I'm ever missing a shot, I can just find it in the library, look for HD or 4K quality stock assets. And they have so many collections and different themes and jars where I can choose from. Even things like overlay effects or backgrounds. And I can also find templates for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Like maybe I need a pack of a thousand Positions, they probably have that. And the amazing thing about Storyblocks is that I can download unlimited video assets with the unlimited all access plan. Not only for video assets, but also for music, sound effects, images, and so much more. So I can try out different things, see how they work in my edits, and if they don't work, well, I can just go back to Storyblocks and download something new without having to worry about extra fees. That's of course the most interesting plan, but Storyblocks of course also has other affordable plans for everybody's needs. So go check it out, guys. I can highly recommend it. You can click the first link in the description down below or just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash cinecom. All right, and now I'm going back into my course. <laughs> That's how I make courses. <laughs> One interruption later. And now these two numb nuts are bothering me. <laughs> you see, I can't work like this. Big lamp. Even the reflection is so hard. Now, since I'm gonna be placed in a pretty dark scene, we're working with a two zone lighting setup here for the green screen. One zone is to solely light out the green screen and we're making sure that none of this light is being casted onto me, the talent, and so we can create a different lighting setup for the talent itself. Two zones. Once you're happy with your Titan we previously created, it's time to export it for Unreal Engine. But first we need to set up our rig. So in Character Creator, go over to the Motion Pose in the Modify tab. Here click on Set HIKT Pose and then Set T Pose. With this done we head over to File, Export and choose FBX. For the Target Tool preset we can pick Unreal. Click on the gear next to it and change the Embedded A Pose for Unreal to Embedded T Pose for Unity. And I know it doesn't make sense but otherwise the rig doesn't align up in Unreal Engine. And then just click click export. Next up open Unreal Engine and here we can drag the FBX file we just exported. We don't need to change any settings so click import all. You'll get a message log that something is wrong but you can ignore that and close it. Look for the skeleton of your model and double click on it. Head over to the gear icon and select show retargeting options. Right click on the pelvis and choose recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Then click the drop down menu of the pelvis and select animation. Changing these will make sure the translation from one skeleton to another will work even if they are in the same size or shape. 
shape. Next up we need a level sequence to be able to attach our animation to our 3D model. So head over to the clapperboard icon and choose add level sequence. In here we can drag our model. And now it's time for the animation. You can keyframe this yourself which takes a ton of time and work or simply use a motion capture library. In our case we'll be using Mixamo which is free for everybody with the Adobe subscription. Now we can't straight up download the motion capture from Mixamo and connect it to our rig in Unreal Engine because of the type of rigs they use. But I have a great workaround for this. There is a Mixamo to Unreal converter which you can download, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Once downloaded you can open up the file and there should be a folder called mannequins. Right in there you should find a .fbx file, which is what we need. This rig we need to upload to Mixamo first. Once the rig is in there, look for the movement you want to add from the library. Then click download and make sure the keyframe reduction is set to uniform. With this ready, open up the Mixamo converter. In here, click step 1 and then the folder. In this folder, you'll want to add the downloaded Mixamo file. Then click step 2 and hit convert. Once done, you can click the folder again, which will take you to the output folder. And the file in there we can now drag into Unreal Engine. An import option menu will open up. Just make sure that in skeleton you have your skeleton selected of your character you want to animate. And then just press import all. Now head over to the sequencer tab and here we'll add the animation to our model by clicking the plus sign next to animation. Look for the animation you imported from the list and there we go, our titan is alive. The only thing now left to do is add your camera and choose your framing and once you're happy with that you can just render it out and bring it to After Effects. When becoming a titan it releases energy and a lot of it and that energy blast we are going to recreate inside After Effects. Now for this we of course are going to need 3 shots. An empty shot, a green screenshot of our talent which we keep out and a shot of our titan growing and standing up. We are placing those three shots in our timeline and edit them so that our talent hard cuts to a titan. Now for extra effect we did a scaling animation of the titan inside Unreal to give that growing feeling. Plus we also placed a real flashing light on the titan representing the energy blast. Once we have that little edit let's add some energy. Create a black solid layer and on that layer we will be adding a whole bunch of effects. The first effect is a fractal noise giving us a cloud like texture. Next add CC sphere to create a ball. Then for the color we'll be adding a tint effect and we will be choosing a red color. The fourth effect will be a vector blur, smooshing everything together in a liquid like feeling. Up next will be the roughened edges effect, making our edge more random and softer. As a last effect we use the CC light rays effect, giving it these light rays. And of course set the blending of your clip to screen. Now for the animation of the energy blast we'll be animating the radius property, going from zero to big over a few frames. And then we let it expand a little bit more but very slowly. And while it's expanding slowly we're also going to fade it out with the opacity property. Ok we have our first energy ball, now let's keep adding those. Duplicate the energy ball layer two times and each time change the color and the radius. Make one an orange color and a little bit bigger than the original one. Then the second duplicate make it yellow and even bigger than the other duplicate. Next up is a super bright lens flare. We're going to use the red giant null light factory effect which holds a dozen of lens flare presets. Again we animate it to go from non-existing to super bright and then fading out. The last step is a matter of adding stock clips of electricity, dust blasts, ground impacts and so on. Keep adding until you have a real titan reveal. And to finish it all off add some distortion, maybe a heat wave or a blast bubble. Let yourself go and voila you are done. Now if you enjoyed the video guys and learned something new make sure to hit that like button as that really helps support the channel to help in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching guys, thank you Sturdyblocks for your support and as always stay creative. Now I'm gonna work further on my course and you in the meantime can check out the video here on my left.